Shelley Banton is one of our presenters at this year's Self-Managed Superfund Audit Conference. And her subject is a really interesting one. It's that's auditing cryptocurrencies as assets in self-managed super funds. Shelley, welcome. Can I ask you, first of all, what are the biggest problems auditors face when they're auditing crypto assets in self-managed funds? Oh, Rob, there's a wide variety of issues that we need to look at with crypto. I guess the main one is the lack of documentation and how do we verify and confirm uh, those assets are in the fund? How do we then make sure that when they're coming into the fund that they uh, haven't been brought in by a related party? And then also, how do we confirm uh, what the cost base is? Because every time crypto comes in and out of a of the self-managed super fund, regardless of how it got there and was exited, uh, it has to have the cost base correctly recorded. And the reason for that is that the ATO is really cracking down on uh, CGT assets this year, such as crypto, and making sure that those cost bases are really um, properly recorded so that the disposal on that um, uh, capital gain or loss on that particular asset has been recorded correctly. So we really need to make sure that we're, we're um, crossing all our T's and dotting all our I's when we're looking at crypto. Um, and I guess other questions that are starting to emerge now uh, are in relation to new digital assets such as NFTs. So this is a really interesting space for SMSF auditors to be in because all of a sudden we're talking about, you know, assets that are a little bit more sexier than usual that are in the metaverse that could be in online gaming uh, type of uh, structures. And we need to make sure that it's going to comply with CIS. So I'll be talking about that and working out just how you can and can't get around that understanding and, and look at the platform that the uh, trustees are investing in. And a lot of the questions coming through on NFTs are at the moment, is this platform okay? Is this platform okay? Um, and it's not about us actually providing uh, the tick of approval to a specific platform because it's really impossible to vet every single platform. So it depends on how that crypto has got into, into that particular platform. So just depositing um, crypto into an NFT platform so you can start using that within the metaverse doesn't necessarily provide a breach but it's what you do from that so you can actually go and stake that crypto to another to the exchange which means you've actually lent that to an unrelated party which is okay but there's all these new products that are being developed at the moment which means not only can you stake it you can then go and do other things like you can borrow fiat money off that staking money to then go and buy uh, more crypto so we need to really understand the products which are developing at a great rate of knots are very sophisticated for very uh, is traditionally unsophisticated investors in a lot of respect. Um, so we actually need to make sure that their interests are protected. And we also need to make sure that we're um, mitigating any risks on our side as well by, make sure, by ensuring that we uh, qualify our audit reports where necessary and understand the impact of that on the trustees de de investment decision making moving forward. Because often we see crypto incorrectly classified in the balance sheet as cash which, um, you know, you've got the word currency in there, which provides a little bit of, um, you know, thought provoking investment decisions because they think it's currency and it's not, it's a CGT asset and it's very volatile. It comes at high risk. So being able to make sure that the trustees understand what type of investments they've got there and making sure that uh, you, they've documented where the wallet is, the security of that asset moving forward. Because as we know, roughly about 20% of all Bitcoin has just been lost because people have lost their passwords or they've locked it into a, into a, a, a laptop or wherever. So it's very easy asset to uh, not be able to hold on to in that respect um, and making sure that you've documented that. And, and once again, um, putting that down, not for the auditor's um, benefit, but certainly for any beneficiaries' benefits at the end of the day, is going to make sure that those fund assets remain securely in the, um, in the super fund, uh, regardless of price volatility at the end of the day. So lots to think about. We're going to be going through a, a huge journey. I get very excited about crypto, as you know. Um, so I'm really looking forward to presenting this session. And I'm so looking forward to seeing everybody up on the Gold Coast in person. So it's great to get the band back together, Rob. <laughs> Thank you, Shelley. And uh, I'm really looking forward to hearing your presentation. It's very clear to me that you, you actually know a great deal more about this than most people, certainly more than I do. 
And I'm going to look forward to having my lesson on how the crypto world works from you at the SMSF audit conference. But for those of you who would like to hear more and particularly to hear Shelley's presentation, you'll find details on our website and uh, we'd encourage you to have a look at it and uh, register. In the meantime, thank you very much for listening. Thank you.